this two minute tip shows you how you can make a time series view in Google Earth using FME. So I've done this with simulated flood data that we produced for our FME world tour. So I've got two ASCII grid files, one showing the initial time of flood water inundation and the other showing the total time of inundation. Each pixel value in the grid uh, represents the time in hours. So you can see here if you click around the time in hours changes. Because it's a decimal point, uh, in my workspace I've put an attribute splitter in and taken whatever's to the left of the decimal point as the hours and whatever to the right I've calculated how many minutes that is. I've manually put in the start time that the model was run from, so that's the 20th of July 2007, started at midnight and then added the time of the initial inundation to that to work out my time start using a date time calculator. I've then used an area on area overlayer to merge the two datasets together and repeated the process with the total time of inundation. I've then added this to my start time to work out the end time. I've also put both of those attributes through the date formatter so they're in the right format for Google, so they need to be in the ISO date time format. I can then put these two attribute values in my KML time setter. So I put that when I want my data to start displaying and when I want it to stop displaying. I've also put a KML styler in just to make sure that the polygon's blue so it actually looks like a real flood. Now this workspace does actually take longer than two minutes to run so I'll show you one that I made earlier. So you can see here the river as normal. If you use the time slides on the top left, track that across, you can see that over time that the river starts to flood. <laughs> 